Hi y'all, it's Caroline. Today we're going to make a slimline card using an Anna Griffin cut and emboss folder. So here's the card I made and I did use the diamond press marquee to cut all the cardstock on this one. And here's the card base and we will talk more about this later. And today we're going to use the Empress machine. And all the die cuts uh, that are thin pretty much go through all the machines very easily. But this is the one I used. It's called Trimmings Tassel Border. And I got it on HSN. And the card strips I'm using fit perfectly, just by coincidence, into this uh, border die. I'm really uh, excited to show you how well this embosses, how deep the impressions are. And these are the card strips that I used. You know, they don't have to be in rainbow order. It just picks something that you like and something that flows. And this is a pack of paper I got at Hobby Lobby. And just look at the variety. I mean, they just all blend together. So much to choose from. Just choose a family of color you like. I use uh, packs like this just to use uh, small strips of paper and so I'm not collecting a lot of scraps. It's just easier to work with like that. But here's the colors I picked. So you just fit it into the folder and make sure all the cutting blades are inside the cardstock. Nothing worse than making a cut and the paper has shifted and you just have to do it again. That's like the worst. So all you need for the Empress is just two cutting plates. They just fit right inside the, right on top of the folder. As you can see, I use these cutting plates till the bitter end. I mean, they're working just fine. I flip them all around. They're not warped too bad just because I keep flipping them. But wait till you see this. I mean, it is just the easiest thing. And this impression is so deep. I don't even need to sand it just to, to show the detail. And because this cardstock has a white core, it comes out even even better. So I'm going to do the other cutting off screen. I cut five more strips just like that. Okay, so I've done all the cutting and I have my adhesives all ready here. Now I'd made a video on the basic measurements for a slimline card, which is seven by eight and a half and you score it at three and a half. So that's what I've done and folded it. And that's how we're going to start this card. So basically using the folded edge of the card, you're lining up your paper strips. I mean, you can use any embossing folder and make your own strips as long as you have a hard edge because those scallops and the detail in the folders are really what make this card. And as you can see, I'm just fiddling around and I move these colors around just because there's no, there's no rules to how these colors have to uh, go in line. But you do need that solid edge on the side. Now I'm using a combination of both glue dots and liquid adhesive because at the very top I want to be able to uh, make sure that if I need to push the top ones down a little bit I can do that. You cannot do that with a glue dot but a glue dot is dry and permanent. So on this, uh, I'm just showing how on this imp impression, there's a, 
a visual a visible line in the details that I'm using to eyeball where I'm placing each one instead of having to use a ruler it just is so much easier that way okay here comes my big roll of glue dots I got this at that Uline store that um, makes all the cardboard boxes and cleaning equipment and shelves and they have so many office supplies but and also they sell this huge roll of, of glue dots and this is the smaller roll but I use so many I just got tired of buying the little boxes that you had to tear off the little uh, carrier sheets this is just easier for me and I use a ton of them because they secure whatever I am taping down you know I know it's not going anywhere so here yeah that's me just kind of fiddling around again with those colors So do y'all use glue dots? I kind of think it's a lost art form. I don't know why. I just uh, am seeing so many adhesives on the market and YouTubers, you know, I guess promoting what they like best. Um, sometimes they're just forgot about, but you know, I'm a glue dot user. Now here I'm using my adhesive. It's the same ones I got at you know, Tuesday morning for 99 cents. They work just fine. Yes, I do use, I have tried all those Nuvo and uh, Glitter Art and all, all the adhesives, but um, as long as it sticks, that's what's important to me. As long as it does the job. Okay, now we're going to reach into my Anna bag and I do a lot of die cutting at once and pull out what I need later. So here I have a butterfly from my Anna bag and just adding some adhesive here, pop up on the back and then you guessed it, a glue dot on the front and that top layer of the butterfly is not going anywhere. So yeah, I have birthday cakes and butterflies, teacups, oh, you name it, ferns, you know, leaves. Don't forget to subscribe. That would be great. Let's just finish this up. And I'm going to show you some cards. Well, the couple cards I completed. So give it a try. Like I said, you can use any embossing folder. Use your own. 
and let's keep doing slimline because it's fun. Bye now.